It was a chance encounter almost three years ago, and it ended up with one man fatally stabbed. Today, a West Allis man learned his fate for taking the life of another man back in 2019. Brett Vickery with the emotional moments in court today. I personally would have liked to see him go away for life, but it is what it is. A final chapter Sucks. to an almost three-year horror story. Ryan Sorensen's family grieves his tragic death all over again. I'd like to say the nightmare that I've been living for nearly three years, it's not coming to an end with this. Back in September of 2019, prosecutors say Angel Monje Montezuma and Shirley Monje were riding their bikes when they encountered Sorensen. The three got into an argument, which ended with Sorensen getting stabbed in the chest. Shirley Monhe pleaded guilty in the case last year. Her husband was found guilty back in April. I would like to apologize to Ryan's family for their loss and to tell them that I, not, that I did not intentionally try to kill anyone that night. Both families were present, each giving their own statements before the judge gave the sentence. The person that I know was a kind-hearted, loving father, friend, Brother. All my son had and all he inspired to be was taken away from him by the senseless, cruel act of murder. I'm sorry for your family, your mothers, and your kids, but I'm not sorry for you. With tears falling from both sides as the sentence was read. The uh, court will impose a sentence of uh, 25 years in the Wisconsin state prison system. 16 years of confinement and nine years of extended supervision. Uh, you know, they talk about closure, uh, and I would say that to people, but there will never be closure. His birthdays, his, the holidays, his 1201 birthday calls, April Fool's jokes, Saint all that's St. <laughs> Patrick's Day, all that's gone forever. Monhe Montezuma's wife, Shirley Monhe, was supposed to appear for her sentencing as well today, but could not because her lawyer tested positive for COVID-19. That sentencing is set for July 11th. In the newsroom, Brett Vickery, Fox 6 News.